Our job was to provide another service to the people that no one else was providing a service to. This is an illegal underground COVID rave. These gatherings are often secretive and selective, and they're advertised on social media. The details are discussed on a private WhatsApp group. You have to pay £25 for the secret location. So, that's what we did. We've been waiting all day for the location. It's finally been released. We've been given the secret location for the event. It's off a road on the M25. Let's go to an illegal COVID rave. Tonight's venue is a truck stop. There's over 60 people here tonight. It's hot and sweaty. And there's no social distancing. Trucks and alcohol are also on sale tonight. It's five pounds to buy pints and the same for laughing gas. I speak to one of the ravers. She's traveled two hours to get here and says she's given up on the government's rules. Some people aren't here to party, but to work. One DJ tells me he's being paid £60 to perform tonight. We've just left a very packed venue with more than 60 people, none of whom were observing social distancing. Lots of dancing, sweating, touching, drugs and alcohol, both being sold by the organisers. We're driving to meet the organisers because they've agreed to do an interview. We've driven around East London to the second location where the organiser said they'd meet us. It's been two hours. We've sent them nine WhatsApp messages asking where they are, if they're going to turn up. They blocked us. People out there. The next day, we got a call from one of the organisers telling us that the planned interview was actually a setup. He agreed to FaceTime, but wanted to remain anonymous. I just don't think it's safe for you guys at the moment. There's been a few talks of people getting, like, yeah, approached in a in an aggressive manner, should I say. But you guys got to keep yourself safe. The government's guidelines, laws, say mass gatherings like yours aren't allowed. What's your response to that? We've always tried to adhere to them rules and have the PPE that the government has deemed acceptable in order to detect symptoms and that sort of stuff. We had masks for the staff. But not for the party goers. But not for the party goers. Are you proud of what you've done during lockdown? I'll be honest with you, yeah. Now that I look back on it, yeah, I'm very proud of myself and my team, yeah, of how he's actually done things. He may be proud, but COVID doesn't care about that. In South Korea, all it took was one man in a nightclub to infect hundreds. The same could happen from these raves. <laughs> 